The Lorenz curve and the Gini coefficient. The Lorenz curve can be used to calculate the Gini coefficient, another measure of inequality. The Gini coefficient is area A, A plus B. The graph plots percentiles of the population on the horizontal axis according to income or wealth and plots cumulative income or wealth on the vertical axis, so that an X value of 45 and a Y value of 14.2 would mean that the bottom 45% of the population controls 14.2% of the total income or wealth. The Lorenz curve is used to represent economic inequality as well as unequal wealth distribution. The farther away the curved line is away from the straight diagonal line, the higher the level of inequality. What involves in creating the Lorenz curve? It involves fitting a continuous function to some incomplete set of data. There is no guarantee that the values along the Lorenz curve, other than those actually observed in the data, actually correspond to the two distributions. Percentage, represented by a straight line, A, Y percent, of the total income they have. The percentage of households is plotted on the X axis, the percentage of income on the Y axis. It can also be used to show the distribution of assets. In such use, many economists consider it to be a measure of social inequality. What is the Lorenz curve used for? First, a Lorenz curve is a graphical representation of the distribution of income or wealth within a population. Lorenz curves graph percentiles of the population. Second, Lorenz curves graph percentiles of the population against cumulative income or wealth of people at or below that percentile. Third, Lorenz curve, along with the derivative statistics, a widely used measure Then points are graphed for a continuous distribution. How to draw Lorenz curve? To draw Lorenz curves, we need to calculate the cumulative share of total income owned by each decile. These will be the vertical axis values. The cumulative income share of a particular decile is the proportion of total income held by that decile and all the deciles below it. above the 45 degree line? In this case, there is no area between the Lorenz curve and the 45 degree line. At the other extreme, if the Lorenz curve coincides with the horizontal axis until the final household, then the area above the Lorenz curve and the area below the diagonal are exactly the same. Any factor that improves income or wealth distribution, such as high levels of education, will shift the Lorenz curve closer to the line of equality. 
Any factor that worsens income or wealth distribution shifts the curve further from the line of equality.